It would be probably about time for us to be heading into the church. The front row pew is reserved, however. Welcome. Oh, okay. She's got the bottle of champagne, so she's going to make you some. I'm smiling now. I'm back to smiling. I'm real happy. Great. You're not coming out of there? Not yet. Uh oh. You have to wait a minute till everybody gets in the Oh my God. I think it's a we had so much fun in the carriage. We're coming down. Everybody's coming out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm her granddaughter. Hey, you two are so well coordinated. I like that. <laughs>
Now you gotta say hi. Huh? <coughs> I got the evidence already. Because he carry in all his power and love. Marriage is provided as part of God's loving purpose for humanity since the beginning of creation. Jesus said the Creator made them from the beginning male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be made one with his wife. Marriage is enriched through the Savior. Marriage is thus a gift and a calling of God, not to be undertaken lightly or from selfish motives, but rather prayerfully and responsibly. With faith in the, na in the enabling power of Jesus, and with due awareness of the purpose for which it is appointed by God. Marriage is appointed that there may be lifelong companionship, comfort, joy between a husband and wife. Marriage is appointed as the right and proper setting for the full expression of love between a man and a woman. It's appointed for the ordering of family life where children who are also God's gift to us may enjoy the security of love and the heritage of faith. Marriage is appointed for the well-being of human society, which can be stable and happy only where the marriage bond is honored and upheld. <coughs> Therefore, let marriage be held in honor among all. Let us pray. O God, you have made the covenant of marriage a holy mystery, a symbol of Christ's love for the church. Hear now our prayers for Mary Helen and Edward, with faith in you and in each other, they pledge their love today. May their lives always bear witness to the reality of that love. We ask this through your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Edward, having heard how God has created, ordered, and blessed the covenant of marriage, you affirm your desire and intention to enter into this covenant. Mary Helen, having heard how God has created, ordered, and blessed the covenant of marriage, you affirm your desire and intention to enter into this covenant. I certainly do. And now, families and friends of Mary Helen and Edward, do you promise to do everything in your power to support them and uphold them in the marriage vows they make this day? If so, respond by saying, we do. We do.
Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends as for prophecies. They will cease, and for knowledge, it will pass away. For our knowledge is imperfect, and our prophecy is imperfect. But when the perfect comes, the imperfect will pass away. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I gave up childish ways. For now, we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall understand fully, even as I have been fully understood. So faith, hope, love abide. These three, but the greatest of these is love. Ed and Mary, I am delighted that you selected that passage of scripture today to be read on the occasion wedding. I'd like to share a few thoughts with you and invite all of you to listen in about agape love in this passage. Agape love is God's love. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or resentful. Love keeps no record of wrongs. Loves, love endures all things, hopes all things, believes all things. Love never ends. Now today it's not hard for us to imagine that you two have that kind of love for each other. And we are delighted that God has brought you together. And we've promised to support you and encourage you in making vows to each other today and in God's presence. But you know, there are going to come some days where it's not going to be so easy for you to feel loving and kind one to another. You know, life's stresses, a difficult day at work, you come home, you're feeling impatient and unkind, and words can slip out. And that's when you're going to see that God in your lives and God's love are holding you, His agape love will make all the difference in the world. It will support and undergird that love that you naturally have for each other. So that when there is perhaps more sickness than health, perhaps more want than plenty, perhaps more sorrow than joy in your lives, I trust that God will hold you in his care and support you with his love. Mary and Ed, we love you. We encourage you and celebrate with you this day. We wish for you all the best in life. And above all, we wish for you God's love. Thank mm -hmm. you.
Mary Helen and Edward, join now your right hands. With your promises, commit yourselves to each other, binding yourselves before God as husband and wife. Edward, repeat after me. I, Edward. I, Edward. Take you. Take you. Mary Helen. Mary Helen. To be my wife. To be my wife. And I promise. And I promise. Before God. Before God. And these witnesses. And each witness. To be your loving. To be your loving. And faithful husband. And faithful husband. In plenty. In plenty. And in want. In plenty and in want. In joy. In joy. And in sorrow. And in sorrow. In sickness. In sickness. And in health. In health. As long. As long. As we both shall live. As long as we <coughs> shall both live. Mary, repeat after. <coughs> I, Mary Helen. I, Mary Helen. Take you, Edward. <coughs> to be my husband. And I promise, before God and these witnesses, to be your loving and faithful wife. In plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, as long as we both show live. What do you bring as the sign of your promise? Let us pray. <coughs> By your blessing, O oh God, may these rings be to Mary Helen and Edward symbols of unending love and faithfulness, reminding them of their covenant of marriage through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <coughs> I give you this ring. I give you this ring in the name of the Father, in the Father, Son, Son, and Holy Spirit. And Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, giver of life and love, bless Mary Helen and Edward, whom you have now joined in Christian marriage. Grant them wisdom and devotion in their life together, that each may be for the other a strength and need, a comfort and sorrow, together in love and peace all the days of their life. For Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who has taught us to pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. <coughs> Before God and in the presence of this congregation, Mary Helen and Edward have made their solemn vows to each other. They confirmed their promises by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. Therefore, I proclaim that in the presence of God, you are now husband and wife. Blessed be the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and forevermore. Those whom God has joined, let no one put asunder. something I'd like to say to Edward. I, I had one great love in my life, and I thought that's all I had. And most times, the Lord only gives you one great love in your life. 
But the Lord was extra special to me because he gave me another love to follow for the rest of my life. And for that I am so grateful, not only to the Lord who found you for me and we found each other and pushed us together, but the fact that you are a great man and you have a lot of compassion and a lot of caring. And I know that I'm going to be tremendously as happy in future years as I am today. I am just ecstatic. I love you dearly. I couldn't love anybody anymore at this point. And I love you right now. God bless you. And I love the Lord with all my heart and soul for bringing us together. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that one doesn't count. <laughs>
Now may the love of God and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you this day and forevermore. Amen. And now, you may kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege and pleasure to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Daly, Ed and Mary. Okay, guys, no clapping. The horses are getting scared. I said, who's getting married? I'm not. I'm over here. <laughs> Were you inside? Yes, I can't take it anymore. My back is killing me. Did you hear how nice her, <coughs> her speech was? Yes. Now you can make noise again. Well, you don't have to take it in. Wait until they're coming out. I got a little bit of hair in this one. Thank you. Thank you. You stay still. I'll move that a little bit. Mary's job. <laughs> and your head is too big, take it off. <laughs> it won't fit the screen. Thank you. No, put it back on, I'm just joking. <laughs> Oh, there. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, that's really good. How about you? That's really good. Yeah. Who you got now? You want to move over a little bit so you can get a shot? Because that's what somebody said to do. Fine time. Oh, it's gonna be all day like this. Get it? Oh yeah, I can get it. Thank you. Hi, Grandpa. Gotta go on the horsey. I got up. I'm harder than you. That's right. I don't know. Once you so cool. There goes trampling the horses. Let me see the whip. He did not for me. He did not for me. No, Grandpa stay. Grandpa He has to go. I'm not <laughs>
my song to start things out. This is by Jeffrey Reeves.
shirt out there for a lady with a terrific voice. Okay. With the right connections, she could have went places. Okay.
a single minute. Are y'all up here? That's it. All right, on three. One, two, three. Okay, looks like Victor's next for the next for the. Uh, You've got to try on the garden. Your sister got the bouquet. Who got the bouquet? Well, as it goes. Now. Remember, this is a country wedding. Oh, wait a minute. She got slacks off. Yeah, how can you? Hey, do? yeah, you got you, you to get those slacks off. Huh? She must have known she was going to catch this thing. <laughs> Who's the substitute? <laughs> All right. Is there a single girl out there? Where's there a single girl? Where are you? Where is she? There she is. Get a single girl. Get a single girl up here. Come on. Come on. Oh, okay. Uh oh, here's a single girl. That's another, another girl. Oh, another another one. Don't you know that you're supposed to wear a cowgirl skirt so that he can slide that thing up? How do okay. you get the garter up there? I mean... Okay, Victor. Okay, now this is what you gotta do. Now remember, this is a country wedding. You put the garter... You hear this? You gotta listen to this. This is important. You put the garter on the left angle, and you try to bring it to the right. Hey, 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 hey! You got to bring it down the right. <laughs> Start yeah, at the left. <laughs> He's put it on. He's yeah, that one out. Hey, but you know, you know, Joe would put a smile on his face, right? <laughs> You're stretching your luck. Here we go. Here we go. Harder. Come on, everybody out there, say higher. 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 Go ahead. Higher. Keep going. Keep going. Higher. 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 Holy sh**. Higher. My God. Holy God. Oh, what? What? That's almost as high as my property taxes. Hey. Hey, hey, but Hank, you know what happened? That was the wrong leg. Oh, my God. Oh. That was the wrong leg. That was the wrong leg. You put it on the left leg. It's supposed to be I'm the right sorry. leg. Sorry, that's right. You're supposed to start at the right. That's I'll right. You. you didn't tell him, did you, Joe? I'm, yeah. I'm left handed. Supposed... Oh. I'll tell you what, we're going to do one more song and we're going to take a short pause. One more for you. We're going to do a little fast one for you. Here's one after Ed Garner.